Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to see how many mice we can catch in the barn with this brand new mousetrap I saw for sale on Amazon. It doesn't have a brand name, but it's advertised as a bucket lid auto resetting mousetrap. Now usually I'm pretty skeptical about the mousetraps I see for sale on Amazon. Most of them are cheap counterfeits from China made out of flimsy material that usually breaks in shipping and they haven't been tested to actually catch mice. The balance points aren't right and they just don't work. But this one may be the exception. I have no idea where it's made, but it's made out of higher quality material. It's made out of metal, and I really like how the balance point seems to work well. Now what you do is you place it on the lid of a bucket. It comes with some screws to attach it and a bit. The trap fits nicely on a standard five gallon bucket. It has two holes right here that line up with the plastic ramps that come with the package. It also comes with a drill bit and some screws. The idea is you place some bait right here on the tipping point of the plate. The mouse will smell it, come up, walk out, and when it does, it falls down in the bucket. Now this mousetrap is very similar to a video I posted a few months ago called the High Dive Mousetrap. The High Dive is a DIY mousetrap where you take a wire and you string a paper plate across a bucket. The mouse will walk out and get dunked. But this is basically a higher quality pre-manufactured version of that mousetrap. Now the high dive worked very well, but I'm going to test it out with our pet mice and see if this one does too. We don't want our mice to get hurt when they drop down, so we'll give them a soft landing. Okay mouse, show us how this trap works. That is a great balance point and it's slippery, so as soon as it starts to go, the mouse will drop down. Let's try it again. Mouse number two. And finally, mouse number three. Same result. It seems like it's a great trap, but we're gonna test it out in the barn with wild mice. Let's go set up the motion cameras and see what happens. Well, I can report that this trap does work. When I checked it this morning, I flipped it down and I see two mice in the bottom. They wanted the bait, walked past the tipping point and dropped down, and they're not able to escape. So overall, this trap worked very well, but I'm gonna test it out again one more night. Now, what we caught down in the bottom is a native species of mouse called a deer mouse. Because they're part of the natural ecosystem, I'm not gonna kill them. Instead, I'm gonna take them out in the wild and set them free. So we'll let these go and then set this up for a second night. Okay mice, come on out of there. Let's go set up the motion cameras a second time and see what happens. Well, last night we caught two more mice with this bucket lid mouse trap. They wanted the bait and got dunked, but there were quite a few mice that felt it move and didn't get caught. So overall, this is a good trap, but it's not the best. I actually like the paper plate version better. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 900 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, Stay tuned. Now these are a non-native invasive species of mouse called a house mouse. Because they're not part of the natural ecosystem, I can't let them go. Instead, for these ones, I'm gonna humanely dispatch them and feed them to wild animals. So I'm gonna end the video by seeing what comes along and enjoys a house mouse snack. <laughs>